Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is yet another short video on Start Descent, a little program that I wrote that will help you determine when to start your descent from one altitude to another. Now there will be a link in the description below where you can download this new version. So in this latest version is version 2. Point zero, point two, point one, and when you start the program, you'll notice that there are no labels. One of the things I brought in with version two was the fact that you could create your own labels. So I want to walk you through this whole process and show you how it works. Now, one thing this version does is it's going to write files to your computer. So you need to have a dedicated folder for start descent. Now it comes in a folder and I just recommend you copy paste that somewhere on your computer and you'll be fine. Here we have no labels so we're going to file setup and we're going to click on click this button to create labels which will populate all these edit boxes here. Now if you want to write your own labels here you would have just written in what you wanted these labels to display you click right label changes to disk and when you close this you'll notice that we ended up with a whole lot of files here these are the files that hold the label names and now you can see we have all the labels showing we need to restart to get things centered so we're going to restart start descent and that'll get the heading where it needs to be and now we're ready to go so the changes are with nothing entered here, if I hit the enter key to go to the next field, I'm going to get a warning telling me I need to put a number in there. So we want to put a number in there. Let's put 240 and we go to the wind direction. And I'm going to use the same numbers we had before. Wind speed, whoops, I forgot that. We have to enter a value there. So we'll put that in. And this works on every one of these. It's going to let you know you've got the wrong altitude or you don't have a number displayed in there and here we calculate and after we hit enter again it recalculates so that's one of the nice features here it's going to be hard to make a mistake although it's not foolproof if you start the program and there is nothing here in this field and you and you try to calculate it's still possible for the program to hang up. I am working on a solution for that. The other thing that helps here now, if I just try to put a letter in one of these fields, we're going to get a warning saying unacceptable character. So you can't put letters in here anymore. It will only accept numbers. And I think you'll find that comes in really handy. When I was using this a lot and testing it, these are the things that frustrated me most. I would leave something blank or I'd put a character in there and then the program would hang up a little bit. And finally, the last thing that's new in this version is if I put in different values here, when I exit the program and restart it, it will have those new values. So start descent now will remember the last values that you put in here. And this comes in handy if you possibly make a mistake and the program hangs up and you have to start over. You won't have to re-enter all the values again. They will be there. So these are a few of the things that drove me crazy once I started using this a lot and really testing it. And if these things were bothering you, then I highly recommend you download this new version 2.0.2.1. So that's it for Start Descent. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment or send me a message, that would be great. Thanks again for watching, and God bless.